hey guys so today i'm showing you how i made these very flaky and cheesy beef pies with caramelized onions on the inside now if you don't like onions all you have to do is omit the onions and don't use it all right and then you'll have some delicious cheesy beef pies they're pretty easy to make so let's get started with the recipe all right guys so the main ingredients you're gonna need is ground beef some chopped up onions some cheese I'm using a blend of Mexican cheese you're gonna need some puff pastry sheets okay and then I diced up some bell peppers I'm using a mixture of yellow red orange and red and then I miss a few cloves of garlic those are the main ingredients you're gonna need and also some seasonings and I'll let you know in a second which seasonings I'm using so let's get started okay you guys so I got my frying pan over medium high heat and I'm gonna add the garlic and the bell peppers in first no oil because I'm adding the ground beef next so next I'm gonna add in my ground beef okay and this is about one pound of ground beef so I'm just gonna use my pasta and break up the ground beef and allow it to cook all right Just mix it with the veggies in the pot. And I'm going to season it with some garlic powder, okay. onion powder, and I'm also going to use some paprika ground cumin and then salt and black pepper and before the beef is finished cooking you're going to taste it and see if you need to adjust any of the seasonings okay So I'm just mixing the seasoning into the ground beef as it's cooking and breaking it up at the same time. Basically I'm going to leave it let it cook for about 10 minutes or so until it's no longer pink and it's nice and brown. Okay. Okay you guys so while my ground beef is cooking I'm going to caramelize my onions. So I'm adding a few tablespoons of butter in my pot, okay, in another frying pan. Okay, and while the butter is melting, I'm going to add my chopped up onions. So I just roughly chop them up. You can slice them and do whatever you'd like to give it them. I'm gonna let that cook until it's softened and nicely caramelized. I'm also gonna sprinkle in about a little bit of sugar, okay? Mix the sugar in with the onions and allow it to cook down. Okay, you guys, so I'm finished cooking the ground beef, as you can see, it's fully cooked and browned all over, all right? So that's what you're looking for. So I'm going to turn off my stove and set it aside until my onions is ready.
Okay guys, so here's my onions caramelized. So I'm gonna turn off the stool and let's get ready to make our pie. So I'm gonna start by dusting my counter surface with a little bit of flour. Okay, to keep the dough from sticking. Okay, then next I'm gonna take my puff pastry and just open it on here like that. Get your rolling pin and we're gonna roll this out a little flat, okay? Alright guys, so I'm rolling out my dough. I want it to be I want it to be very flat and just stretch it out a little bit. Yeah. Okay? So I'm just gonna just stretch it out in the shape of a large square. Uh-huh. Okay, so in this little bowl, I have a little bit of egg wash. So just one egg with a little bit of water. And you beat it together until it's blended. So I finished rolling out my dough. So what I'm going to do now is cut my pastries out. Okay, so I think I'm just going to do squares. So I'm just lining out how I'm going to cut the pastry. Try to make it into even sizes. Okay. And now I'm going to cut it across. You're going to need two sheets of puff pastry. Basically cut out the same way. So that one is to put the filling on and the, the other sheet is gonna be to cover the pastries after we're finished filling them okay so I have nine pieces of dough here so on the side I have nine more pieces of dough to cover each piece that I use I'll show you what I mean I'm taking my pastry brush and I'm taking the egg wash I made and I'm just gonna brush the edge of my dough before I add my filling okay just like that. This is to help it stick when we close it up. So like that. Okay. All right. Then I'm gonna take my ground beef filling and I'm just gonna add a tablespoon or two right in the middle of the square so just like that okay then i'm going to take my caramelized onions if you're using onions and add some on top like that okay and then lastly i'm going to top it off with some cheese i'm just going to add the cheese on top like that I'm trying to add a good amount Okay, but try not to get it too much on the edges like when we put the egg wash. Alright, and then next you're going to take a piece of your dough and cover the pastry. So this is why I said you're going to need another sheet of puff pastry because if we are making like 9 to 12 pastries, you're going to need 9 to 12 pieces to cover the top, okay? So I'm just stretching it a little bit out to fully cover my pastry and put it on top like that and just press it down to the edges. Pull it and cover the edges. Alright you guys, so now I'm going to use a fork and I'm basically going to crimp the edges of the dough uh, this is gonna help it to close really well so that the filling doesn't ooze out as it's baking and also it adds a really nice design to your pastries okay so you could dip it in some of the flour on the counter if it's like sticking to the dough as you're designing it and then I use a knife to clean up the edges of my pies then I take the pie and I place it 
on a baking dish that I sprayed with nonstick cooking spray, okay? So here I'm just finishing make the rest of my pies and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, so once I'm finished making all of my pies and I place them on my baking dish, what I do is I get a small knife and I, I make three slits on each pie diagonally and then I take my egg wash and brush the top of each pastry, okay? Brush it really well, but don't like soak it in the egg wash, but you want to coat the top really well because this is what's going to give the pie that nice brown color, okay? So I preheated my oven to 375 degrees and once I'm finished brushing the top of each pastry, I'm going to place my pies in the oven to bake, okay? And basically you want to bake it until it's nice and golden brown and puffy. It should take about 20 to 25 minutes but every once in a while I just check on them and once they're nice and golden brown like this, you can remove them from the oven and let them cool. And that's basically it for this recipe you guys it's a nice little savory treat to have in the house to enjoy all right so thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you enjoy it if you give the recipe a try let me know in my comments down below and as usual i'll see you guys next time bye